I think Taylor Riggs is standing by patiently. She got up early for us this morning, Tom. Let's she head over did. to Taylor now and get some movers. Hey, Taylor. She, she only does tech stocks. Let me try to give you some value add, John. This time, of course, within the chip shortage space. Yesterday, after the close, some really interesting news within that chip space. First, of course, coming from Micron. Now, the earnings, a little bit of a disappointment, but analysts still really, really loving this stock. In that press release, we also got some other really interesting news as it relates to selling their Utah factory to Texas Instruments. Now, analysts really liking this deal for Texas Instruments, saying that they're really positive. Oppenheimer is saying that this will boost the company's domestic manufacturing. Susquehanna noting that this really shows the size and the extent of some of those chip shortages. Texas Instruments really trying to get ahead of that with this deal. Chip stocks, as you can see there, not reacting really positively on what analysts are describing as a positive deal. Let's change the board and hope that we can get some green on the screen. First, of course, coming from General Motors, we might get some of those auto sales this morning. So keep your eye on what might be a good second quarter report from that. Of course, the big news, WTI $75 a barrel. So look at the read through that we're seeing with some of these other stocks. Occidental, ConocoPhillips, Marathon Oil, UBS uh, this morning upgrading Marathon Oil to 16 from $11 a share, Tom.